welcome back. Um, this is our second classroom, and this classroom is more center-based, so there's different areas for kids to work in small groups and individually with staff. Um, again, we have the information station on the wall, so everybody knows exactly what's going on throughout the day schedule-wise. And then we have um, six different centers. So this is the reading center. Um, one of my paras pretty much runs this center for our younger kiddos. And then our older kiddos come here um, as and bring their binders from their desk on occasion. And I'll talk about that in future blogs. But this is just um, where all the kids come for their reading instruction. Um, as you can see, there are uh, little tubs here. And in the tubs are the different activities that they should each be doing. So as the child comes over, they would know, oh, I go to, I do the brown tub, then I do green, yellow, blue, and black. And so this is just a way for all the kids to be working at their individual levels and for us to be able to share um, tasks across students. Um, and then we also have all of our academics for our older kids up here. And we come back here in the afternoon. So they come here twice a day. In the afternoons, they come back and do a letter of the week, our younger kids do. And so this is the system for that. And I have spoke about that in um, previous blogs. And then just um, our files, folders, and different things for reading curriculum are in these two cabinets. Um, so that's where we store that. Then if you move over here, um, this is independent work area. Every child either has a tub or a magazine um, little uh, tub for them to put their, um, get their work from. And then if they're a file folder kiddo, they do this and then they put it in all done. If they're a student that works from the drawers, they do it here at the table and then they put it in all done down here. Um, up here are some things that my staff, when they have a chance, they can go file um, independent work from previous weeks and file it where it goes and then this is just random pieces that need a home sometimes our tasks get kind of off and we have puzzle pieces or extra things so that's just a place for that to be stored and we have two stations basically they run about the same um, we do have this is also our place where we just store our icons just because it was a nice blank space to do that and because one of my students um, individual wall schedule is right here so it's really easy to just do his schedule here at the wall um, a lot of our kids are, have moved from wall schedules to doing individual lanyard schedules and I'll post about that in the future here too but um, this is just one student that still is using the wall schedule so here is our math center it runs very similarly to the reading center one of my pairs runs this center as well in the afternoon they do a number or shape of the week using these tubs um, and then in the mornings they do whatever is based on their IEP goals um, what things that they need to be doing. So the children just pull this off the wall and instead of doing the colors that they do at Reading Center, they do the shapes. So they just find those shapes. Um, along here on the wall is where I store all my extra math manipulatives and then math file folders and worksheets and things in here. Um, we also have a closet that's been changed into a sensory spot. So I cleared out all the closet. It's still storage on the top, so I just covered it with this fabric. Um, but the kids can also have a break in here. We just leave the door open and put um, this door system like this to make sure the door stays open and a child can go in there and take a break. Uh, we can turn on music in there or they can take an iPad with common music as well. Um, over here, there is the yellow center. The yellow center is a self-direct choice space. On this side, we have um, ask a teacher to play and there's different um, toy activities. And then on the back side of this, um, it's just more teacher storage. So it just says stop. This is for teachers behind that side of it. Um, but kids come here in between their centers. So um, the way we have it set up this year is that kids rotate from a teacher-led center to an independent center. So they go from reading with a teacher to independent work to math with a teacher to play by themselves. And so they get to have that opportunity to have both um, work with teachers and work by themselves. Um, over here is another area that is for children um, to do by themselves. This is our technology and iPad center. Um, most often the kids work on iPads, but on occasion we do do some laptop work as well. Um, back here is another center. Um, this is my space, and this is where I teach the kids the direct instruction that they need. Um, so I have my math material direct instruction and my ELA, um, English language arts instruction. And the kids just come over here and work with me one-on-one -on -one each day. Um, some kids work in this space and some kids work back here. The difference is that these are more task and hands-on driven, where this is more um, flashcards and worksheets and file folder driven with their binders that they have. And in their binders, we also have um, their IP goals and those types of things. 
I have curriculum I can pull from up here to put in their binders to practice. I also have their um, reading levels over here, all the different levels of reading, so I can pull books for them to practice reading with me. And then I have all my task box stored back here. So again, it's color coded, so all the blue task boxes would go over to math. All the red ones would be for literacy, and then green is for social, and the yellow is for fine motor stuff. And then back in the very back, um, I just have my desk space, as well as a little another little break space um, that our kids can take naps into if they need to. And then back behind here, we store our bikes. Um, on rainy days or days when kids can't get outside, we're able to take these bikes and kind of rotate and ride their bikes through the space out there that I just showed you. Um, they do a little sit and structure activity with that, which I'll show you in a future blog post. So that's our entire classroom. Thank you for joining us. I hope you come back soon.